What's up, everybody? This is Joshua J for Vanishing Inc. Welcome to uh, one of my first downloads for our site. Um, what we're giving you in one download is all my work on the bluff shift. People who know me know that I'm obsessed with this concept. It's a beautiful concept. The concept is hiding one card as a whole deck or as a half of deck. Now, the standard way it's done is this, which leaves a couple of problems. One is you're very exposed from both sides of just this one card. And people have tried to combat that in different ways. I'm going to share with you six different controls, all of which rely on the bluff shift, one to the bottom, a couple to the top, one on the table, and even a pretty weird one that's used as a multiple shift with bluff shift technology. Um, it's some of my favorite card work to date, and we're putting it all together in one download, so check it out right now. This is called the Revolve Shift. They say stop, perhaps on the three of hearts, and controls that card to the top. You dribble the cards like this, have one stopped at, perhaps it's this one, nine of spades. And you've got that card controlled right back to the top. All right, now I'm gonna show you a spread bluff pass. It would look like this, they touch a card, doesn't even matter which one they touch. And that is a control to the bottom of the deck. All right, we're next going to talk about a bluff shift for four aces. This is a multiple shift using bluff shift technology. It looks like this. Four aces go in different parts of the pack. Maybe one there. Maybe uh, one there. Maybe one there. So they say stop at any card, it might be the uh, six of spades. Whatever it is, it goes in the middle of the deck, and I'm going to cause that card to rise out of the pack like this. Oh, sorry, that's the jack of diamonds, that's your six of spades. 